Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and everything Excel. Also, don't forget to sign up for my video channel so that you're sure to get the latest video delivered directly to your inbox as well. All right, uh, so a Friday I had a challenge that I had created for everybody saying, okay, a user in a forum had a scenario where they said Sandra has three apples, one orange, one banana. And uh, this is 60%, 20%, and 20%. And I want to create a stacked column chart. As you can see here, we've got a stacked column chart where Sandra has three for 60%. She has 20% uh, for one and another 20% for one. And uh, so how do we go about doing both labels within a 100% stacked column chart? Also works for a 100% stacked bar chart. But how do we do percentages and values? Because Excel only allows you one of these two, not both. So uh, let's see. We had a few users who sent me some things saying, well, I could do an uh, insert into a text box and put a text box on top of each one of these. And that works if you do the chart once. But once you uh, dynamically change some of your data, uh, your chart won't look the same. The text box will be in the wrong position. It will have the wrong value. It's just uh, probably not the most dynamic way about doing it. So let's go ahead and show you how I went about changing this uh, for your Excel dashboard template. So what we want to do is we want to create three new columns worth of data that is going to show the percentages for apples, oranges, and bananas. So let's go ahead and start doing that. We want to do equals. We're going to go ahead and highlight B1, which is apples. I'm going to do a, an ampersand, a quote, a space, a percentage, and an end quote. Hit enter. Now I have the apples percentages. Well, let's go ahead and make that percentage of what apples is over the total. So I'm going to do equals, and it's going to be B2, which is the apples number, divided by the sum. And I want to highlight B2 through D2, because that is an, our entire range. And I'm going to toggle through F4. F4 is going to create some absolute values. And you see, if I as I hit it, it goes relative, absolute, completely locked down, B2 through D2. Absolute just locking in the row, which is not right, and then absolute locking in the columns, which is what we want to do since I'm going to copy this throughout. Let's go ahead and hit enter, and uh, we have 0.6, but I want to make that a percentage. And let me go ahead and center that as well. So, uh, so let's go ahead and copy our apples over, and uh, there's oranges percentage, bananas percentage. I'm going to copy over the percentage as well, and then copy it down. And so you can see that we've got 20%, 20%, 60%, 44, 22, 33. So it's got all of our values uh, throwing into the percentages. And as we change them, they will dynamically adjust. Now we're pretty close. Now that we've got these uh, percentages created, what we need to do is we need to highlight this entire range. Then we're going to go up to our Insert ribbon. From our Insert ribbon, we're going to go to the Columns button in the Charts group. And we're going to do this third option over here in the 2D. 100% stacked column chart right there. And let's go ahead and uh, move this up here as well so you can kind of see what this looks like. Now, uh, <clears throat> go to my blog and you can learn about why Excel does this, but uh, right now it's putting oranges, apples, and bananas on the horizontal axis. And I actually want my names of my users, Sandra, Susie, on the bottom. So I'm going to go up to my design ribbon. Then over here in the data group, I have a switch column and data. Uh, row and column information. So now I have Sandra on my horizontal axis, and then I've got uh, apples, app oranges, bananas, and then I've got these percentages as well, stacking on top equal to my 100%. Not exactly what I want, uh, but it's uh, getting us most of the way there. So what you want to do is you want to select your chart, sort of in the white space, then go up to your layout ribbon, and let's go to data labels. And from data labels, let's go ahead and do center. And uh, now you see we've got, um, whoops, hit the wrong button there. See, so we've got uh, the, the numbers, one, one, three. And we've also got the percentages in here as well. Now, I want to move these percentages. So I'm going to click on the very first one. I'm going to go up to my layout ribbon again. And I'm going to go over to the data labels button. And I'm going to hit more data label options. And uh, what I want to do here is I want to choose inside end. And this is important because if I don't do this, uh, our final solution is actually going to overlap them on top of the other numbers. So you just want to keep this open. Don't hit closed. 
Uh, go back to your chart and select the next percentage data label and click on inside end. And uh, let's see if I can move this off just a little more. Ah, there's one I can select. Do inside end and click on close. All right, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is we need to move these apples, oranges, and bananas, these data series, to the secondary axis. So let's click on that. I'm going to press my Control-1 key. Uh, alternately, I can do a right-click and do Format Data Series. And uh, it's going to bring up my Format Data Series dialog box. I'm going to choose Secondary Axis. Now, uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult. There's a couple of different ways that you can select uh, the next data series. Um, sometimes I will click in here and then move my up and down arrows. Look at that, I'm selecting oranges over here. You can see it's now selected. Uh, apples, I'm moving my up arrow to oranges, to bananas, apples percentage. Lots of different ways that you can select this. You can learn about all of these ways on my blog, so make sure you head over there and uh, learn how to select data series. It's going to be the keyword there. So I've got the next one selected and I want to choose secondary axis. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do my arrow keys, and I'm going to move bananas to the secondary axis. And look at that. Lo and behold, we have a number value. We have the percentage. Uh, I kind of learned this trick from Pete, one of my uh, fans, and uh, uh, thought I actually, when I went and created my first original chart, I moved everything over to the secondary axis. Then I hid the front one and showed the back one so that you can see these data labels from both. But turns out you don't need it if you do it in the right order. So we've got these uh, apples, oranges, and bananas on the secondary axis. And then automatically you're able to see those second labels of those percentages that are on the first axis and uh, also the values that are now on the second axis. So we're almost home. All we need to do is do some chart cleanup. Let's go ahead and get rid of these percentages. So I'm going to click on the primary vertical axis and hit my delete key. I'm going to click on these grid lines and hit my delete key. I'm going to go over here and click on the secondary vertical axis and hit my delete key. Then I want to click on my legend, go into secondarily, click on apples percentage and hit my delete key. Same thing with oranges, percent, delete. Bananas, percent, and delete. Now, my chart looks uh, exactly like I want apples are the blue, oranges, I probably should have done them as orange, but the default's red. And then bananas are green, I probably should have done those in yellow, maybe done apples in red. My chart would have made a lot more sense, but this is how you can create with a 100% stacked bar chart. You can have the value and the percentages as labels within your chart. One caveat, if your uh, values of your uh, series get too small, they will start to overlap and you just can't get away from that without actually physically clicking on an individual label and moving it like uh, you can kind of see there. So uh, if your uh, labels get too small, you could ultimately come in, click on them, move each one of them, and the next time you create your chart, no matter how small or big they are, uh, it will move them into the right spot for you. So uh, once again, this is uh, Steve Equals True. Uh, please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com where you can learn everything about Excel, tips, tricks, and techniques to make your dashboards just shine so that you can get your next promotion using Excel. Thank you.